simple sunset with reed silhouette. This video is sponsored by Wan Mei and I will be using their watercolor pens and show you things like how they work, different ways to use them, and what I personally think about them. This set has 20 different colors and they all are really vibrant. I personally like colors that are cool and dark such as indigo or like dark green. So I don't see myself using every single shade here unless I want to specifically make a really colorful painting. So if you're somebody that likes to make really vibrant watercolor paintings then this is something that you might actually like. So I start off by wetting the paper. I'm using my round brush in size 12 from Cotman. So one thing I noticed about these watercolor brush pens is that if you're going to use them directly on a wet surface, it's going to be very like um, vibrant and that's not something that you always want. So if you want like a lighter translucent shade from these colors, then what you're going to what's best to do is to place them on your palette first and then mix them with your brush a little bit with some water and then use them. I did that and I kind of got this really light sort of gradient. And if you're kind of going for something like that with watercolor brush pens, the best is to actually put them on the palette first, dilute them, and then use them. Now for the second layer of the sky, I wanted to add some darker clouds. I wasn't sure how using the brush directly on a damp surface would turn out for these brush pens, but I liked it. It wasn't bleeding too much into the background, and it also just didn't sit there. So for my strokes at the bottom right, what I basically did is, because um, my background was starting to get dried, the strokes that I made here, they also didn't bleed into the um, layer. So whenever that happens, what you can do is you can just take a very like lightly damp clean brush and you just lightly run it over the strokes and they're just going to help, that's just going to help the second layer sit into the first one and you'll kind of get the same effect that you're going for on wet on wet. Now, whenever I swatched around or painted with these watercolor pens, one thing I noticed is that they work really well with the wet on wet technique. They have a good amount of dispersant that keeps them very flowy and still in your control too. And to be honest guys, for the watercolor reflection, I didn't really know what to paint, so I actually just ended up adding some blue at the end. But whatever you do here, make sure that it's not very intense because we're gonna paint the reed silhouette over this. One thing I gotta say is the shape and flexibility of these watercolor brush pens make it easier for me to paint things like weeds, grass, and especially the tip of forest trees without worrying of reloading the brush with paint. So for like sharp details in watercolor paintings, watercolor brush pens are kind of actually pretty ideal.
and that's done guys thank you for watching and let me know what you guys think of this painting overall for these Wanmi watercolor brush pens I would say that they are a good quality because even when I directly used them on, in, on a wet surface they didn't really start to become really light and kind of like you know lose the intensity like on the tip of the brush pen which happened with a few previous ones that I've owned so what I would say is that they do stay quite intense and colorful and you can use them by adding them on your palette first you can use it directly or you can also use it on a dry surface such as the way I made the reed silhouette you guys can check these out I'm gonna provide a link in my description and you know make sure to read some other reviews and kind of just look at the shades that they offer and go for them if you like them. Feel free to comment below what you guys would like to see next. Take care guys.